an optometrist with a vision to look beyond the eyes sees a deeper connection that's helping patients with brain injuries recover. I'm primarily a cashier. Your total will be fifteen sixty-five. I do some shelf stocking. Let's see where this one goes. It's a new chapter in Evelyn Bunty's life. Just two and a half years ago, she suffered a traumatic brain injury. She was the victim of a violent crime, shot in the head three times and stabbed in the neck. Evelyn's made significant progress in her recovery, including regaining her vision, which was completely lost as a result of the attack. To this day, I still have issues with my peripherals, but it's amazing in comparison to being totally blind to now able to hold a job. And while her job at Barnes & Noble helped her get back on her feet, it's her glasses that are helping her see a promising future. My deaf perception was terrible, and now it's just so much better with these glasses. They're not just regular eyeglasses. The lenses are designed to improve brain function. Instead of being an eye doctor, we're, we're more like brain doctors. With the ring of a bell, optometrist Deborah Zelinsky tests a patient's ability to locate sound. If the patient misses, she tries different filters and lenses to change how light disperses across the retina. The right mix balances central and peripheral vision and syncs the ear-eye connection, which Dr. Zelinsky says enhances attention, social skills, learning ability, and overall comfort. Most people who've had a concussion of some sort or learning problems or autism, their eyes and ears are not synchronized with each other. So now I'm going to put a new lens in front of you here. Close your eyes. Touch the bell. Much better. She was definitely having a hard time with reading comprehension and her math skills. Since seeing Dr. Zelinsky, we've noticed a huge improvement. DePaul University Associate Professor Clark Elliott had the simple test and wore special glasses after struggling for years from the effects of a serious concussion, the result of a car accident. He even wrote a book about his experience. The principles are quite simple. She bent the light to healthy brain tissue and that part of my brain would wake up through the miracle of brain plasticity. All of that visual spatial processing in our brains took over and it was now routed through healthy brain tissue and we were working around the damaged tissue. In a brain injured person, a lot of the signaling pathways get disrupted and then they have problems judging what's in front of them. But the glasses uh, bend the light differently and with the bent light, you, you end up building new brain pathways. Dr. Zelinsky is also looking at how the mind-eye connection might relate to anxiety and depression, even autism. We have a link on our website. Back to you.